In this video, I'll start by modeling the grip part of the handle. So if I hit spacebar with my cursor over the front view, I can maximize that viewport and zoom in a little bit into my image. So the shape of this is basically a cylinder that is scaled a little bit and then um, the shape changes to get this little curve down at the bottom. So the easiest thing to do is start with a cylinder. So if I click on the polygon cylinder icon here or go to create polygon primitive cylinder, I now get my a cylinder that is created. And by default, you'll see that if I come over to channel box and inputs, you'll see that that um, default cylinder has 20 subdivisions in the axis. So 20 edges around this way. And for our purposes, that is actually going to be fine. You can see that a um, 20 divisions, it's fairly round um, compared to the size of the object. So what I am going to do is start by scaling this up to the basic width of the main part of the handle grip. And I actually don't need the faces on the top and the bottom of this. So I'm going to right click and choose face. And then I'm going to, in the top view, drag select all of the faces that are just in the center here. So just like that. And that will select both the top and the bottom faces. And then I'll hit delete on the keyboard in order to delete those. Then I can right click and choose edge and double click on this edge and it will select the whole edge loop. So I'm gonna move that down till it's basically sitting on the, the ground level. And then I'm gonna come over here to the modeling toolkit tab and click on that. And I'm going to use the multi-cut tool to insert some edge loops so I can start changing the shape of this. So if I select the multi-cut tool and I hold down control, that will allow me to place a edge loop around the whole cylinder in the spot that I want. So I will um, get it to about the spot I want and then click and now that edge loop has been added. And then to get out of that, I can uncheck multi-cut and I'm now back in um, just edge mode. The There's two ways of going between different um, components. So I can right click on the object and choose between faces, vertex, vertices, edges, and object mode. Or in the modeling toolkit, I can go in and just select um, object mode, vertex, edges, faces, and UVs. So I'm gonna select um, vertices and I am going to come in and in the front view, I'm going to hit R to get into scale mode, and I'm going to scale this up in this direction. And I'm only scaling it right now in that direction because I want to um, just kind of match it with the image. And then I am going to move it that way, scale down a little bit like that, and then I am going to come over to my front view and drag select to select the vertices on these two rows. And I'm going to scale those in in this direction. Now my front view isn't lined up perfectly, but it's good enough to get the overall feel for it. Um, so something like that. All right, so then I'm gonna go back to my multi-cut tool and again, I'm going to hold down control so that I can add a whole edge loop. And I'm going to add an edge loop about like that to create that little ridge on um, the base of the hammer. And then go back to edge mode and scale that up. A little bit like that. So I now have the edge of the hammer grip, basically the little base of the hammer. So something like that. 
Then I can go to multi-cut again and I can add in another edge loop. And if I want this one to be halfway between the two edges there, I can actually hold control and shift and then click and that will add an edge loop halfway in between the two other edge loops. So again, I can double click on that to get the whole edge loop selected. And this time I'm gonna use the center, um, the yellow cube to scale uniformly in both directions and just scale that in a little bit to get that little bit of a curve. And then I will come up to these edges and bring it all the way up to this base point here, scale in a little bit, and then use multi-cut again and I'm going to do control shift so I get a point halfway between and double click on that edge again and scale it up a little bit and then add a couple of more. So control shift and control shift, double click. And I'm just going to make sure that that also looks about right in the side view. So we now have that basic grip. If I go back to object mode, you can see that that basic grip has been modeled. Um, the one thing right now is it doesn't have a bottom. So what we're going to do here is use a bridge tool. So if I go back into edge mode, I'm going to select this edge and then select the edge that is directly across from it and click bridge. And I'm going to have this have one division. So there's a division right through the center. And basically I'm going to go through and do that same thing on both sides. And then over here, I can go like that. So again, just clicking bridge. Instead of uh, clicking it in, since the it, bridge was the last tool that I used, I can just hit G on the keyboard and that will call up bridge again. So with the bridge tool, you always want to be selecting two edges that are opposite each other and in order to bridge across them. So I now have um, that base filled in and it's nice even quads. So next thing I want to do to make this a little bit more finished is again if you look at this in um, without the wireframe on you can see that this edge along here this edge right now is very hard and this edge is a little bit softer than it should be. Um, you know, on the hammer itself, it has a little bit of a ridge as it bends down to create the base. So I am going to select the um, edge, double click on this edge, and this time I'm going to add a little bit of a bevel to it. So I'll click bevel and I'm going to decrease the fraction and increase the segment to one and I now have this nice little bevel on that edge. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. Um, with this you will notice that I have to click on more edges um, basically because of the way the geometry is laid out. And I will do bevel and again, I'm going to bring that down probably to about like that and increase my segments. And now if I go back into object mode, you can see that I've got a more natural looking edge to that. And <clears throat> just realize too that this actually needs another edge in here so that there's a little bit of a round out. So I'm going to use the multi-cut tool again, hold down control and shift so it's added right in the center and then double click on it and use that center cube to scale it up a little bit uniformly across the whole thing. So like that. All right, so 
Now the basic grip part of the handle is modeled. The next step will be the yellow part of the handle, this part here, which we'll do in the next video.